Good day, Shibri, it's Jake, it's from Gadget Talk, and today, guys, I'm going to share to you how to use your ATD for filmmaking. That's right. And I have here, guys, um, 1750 uh, Sigma lens, 2.8 um, Sigma lens, that's right. Okay, so this is the lens I'm going to use right in this um, demonstration. Okay, so this technique I'm going to share to you, I use this in uh, most of my video blogs and also my short films so it's just very basic guys and hope you can learn something from it okay so ATD has so many great features that you're gonna love so it's really cool guys to use ATD because it has a microphone here so you have a microphone jack so you can use external microphone and um, aside from that it has a headset this is something really cool guys that you can do while you are recording audio at same time video so here so we have the audio jack and also the headset very cool huh okay yeah. so let's get started if you are a user of 70d then the technique that you're gonna learn from here can be also applied on your 70d and also your 60d and in most uh, uh, this is our camera as it has a video feature on it, so you don't have to worry about it Okay, so let's get started guys. Let me turn this on There so um, By the way, I, I did not insert my SD card here, so um, You don't have to worry about that Okay, because I'm not going to record anything here except this tutorial so here guys Now what is good with the uh, 70, 70 and the 80D is it has touch screen focusing so that's very cool guys you can apply this on shooting something for your film or whatever okay so that's it's really a great feature this auto focus this touch focus and this touch screen okay now the important thing that you have to consider when you're doing filmmaking with your 8D or 7D or whatever the CLR you have is these three numbers here okay so when you're doing filmmaking it's very important that um, your uh, frame per second you have to set that first so I'm going to go to the uh, here we have here the uh, frame per second so this, this is the one it has the FHD and I'm using right now the 23.900 oh sorry 23.98p that's uh, if we round off that that would be uh, 24 frame per second it's 24 okay so most filmmakers those who do they also use the uh, 30 frame per second that's a 29 point something and if you want to do a slow motion later on during the post you can also use the 59 most of my videos I use 59 uh, okay, that's because I already have my script and some of the portions of the scenes I want to slow-mo so that's why I set my uh, frame per second to frame frame rate to 59 or 60 so if you're not planning to do that well you go to the 24 okay and during your pose also you have to maintain that 24 frame per second during the uh, rendering okay so anyway it's up to you guys if you want to do some slow-mo stuff then you go to 59 or 60 frame per second if not you go to the 24 frame per second well some video bloggers they prefer the uh, 30 but I don't recommend that if you're doing um, short films or yeah yeah we want to maintain the cinematic taste cinematic look okay of your frame rate so we go to the 24 next once you set that to 24 it's very important also that your shutter speed should be times to your frame per second okay so we should not go okay 25 okay so that could be 50 so from 50 above that would be your uh, shutter speed if you're using the 50 frame per second or the 60 frame per second then again times 2 so that would be 120 if you're doing the 
we're using the, uh, the 60 frame per second so it would be 125 above okay because there's no 120 now with regards to your ISO this part here okay you should not exceed 160 I mean 1600 so let me set up the ISO sorry okay okay this is your max that would be the max it should not go beyond 1600 because that would uh, produce noise on your clips and that it's very bad on your video so you yeah, have to set the max to 1600 or below okay now you notice guys at the moment you decrease the value of your ISO okay see that okay it will deem the scene of your video okay darken the, the scene so what we're going to do is let's have the 1600 as your max okay and you can adjust your okay you can adjust your shutter speed or you can adjust your aperture now when you're doing the aperture if I have your 2.8 because I'm using the, uh, the 2.8 uh, Sigma 1750 you cannot go uh, lower than that unless you're using 50 mm and this is for if you want to have bouquet effect yeah something like that depth of field okay so you can you can you can decrease that to the uh, lowest value which is a 2.8 because when you increase that the value of your aperture okay see that it's the same result the uh, the brightness of your scene will also diminish so stick to 2.8 and because I'm using the uh, 60 frame per second that's why I don't have I should not be going below the 120 now if the scene that I'm doing right now it's not for slow-mo so of course I go to the 24 so that I could get a proper brightness or lightning of my scene there okay so I can go now to 60 and I have now the proper proper brightness of my scene where you gonna okay that's it now Focusing is also very important for filmmaking. So, what's what? Okay, what you're going to do, guys, to achieve that is you can do the uh, touch focus of your ATD, okay, and point that to the subject just like this, whatever subject you want to shoot. And the good thing with the ATD is every time you move your camera, the focus remains there. See that. That's the advantage of the 80D and the 70D because you have this touch focus and the follow focus feature. Amazing. Okay, but uh, most filmmaking videos, or I mean, though most filmmakers, they don't do that. They prefer the manual focusing because for them it's, you know, it's smooth and cool. Just like this. So you can do something like that. See that? to doing the manual focusing okay not the autofocus because the autofocus is very fast I recommend manual focusing okay and there are also some accessories guys you can apply on achieving smooth and cool um, focusing next is I'm going to share to you guys the uh, picture style now when we do filmmaking it's very important that your picture style is in normal here that's right we don't use the standard we don't use the portrait we use the normal and you can also set that neutral it's a neutral sorry not the normal okay and you can adjust the feature you can uh, 
um, change the sharpness, whatever, guys. Now, in filmmaking, when we, when we shoot videos, we always um, turn our sharp sharpness to zero, and then for the uh, contrast, zero also for the uh, consideration zero and also for the uh, color tone is zero okay so basically guys zero all yep some filmmakers a friend of mine what they do is they change their um what's that contrast okay this baby here okay they reduce it to negative okay why because they want to have the cinematic feel okay a uh, bit of cinematic feel like a little you know uh, smooth not crisp clips so they do something like that okay it's up to you guys anyway you can adjust everything during the post using whatever video editor that you have okay so that's very important set to neutral your yeah, picture style okay next I'm going to teach you guys is the use of the Kelvin now white balance should not be auto you have to adjust it every time you are in different um, let's say temperature condition so for instance I'm here guys this room so I can set the Kelvin and white balance observe if I reduce it uh, below 30 3 at uh, 3000 I would be having this kind of white balance it's a little bluish um, great so this is perfect for if you are indoor and if there's a, we call this uh, illumination from bulbs or fluorescent lamps whatever so you go down 3000 if you are outdoor you can go to 4500 to 5000 it depends on the condition if it's a cloudy weather or whatever guys so just simply go to the Kelvin and simply adjust your Kelvin your color temperature now the tip here is should not uh, you your the color the color temperature of your scene should not be uh, the two yellow and two orange should be balanced something like a little you know a little brownish and grayish something if you can achieve that then it's a perfect color guys when you do the color grading during the post so these are the things that you have to do when you are you know making short films with your 8D so hope you learned something and that's it that's the basic guys okay so there you have it this is Jake Esmo from Gadget Talk and thank you very much for watching okay that's right ADD for short film making Jake Esmo here from Gadget Talk